Hi there and welcome back to Death Knights of Kryn. I'm Byron and I've just found the event that I was looking for. You spot Kuotorns uh, rounding up peasants and forcing them aboard a ship. If you attack, these slaves might be slain. Rather than let them escape, you disguise yourself with heavy cloaks and go aboard with the others. Where did we get the cloaks from? You are led to a tiny cell and left there with a human slave. You show him your hidden weapons and tell him you're here to help. I'll tell the others, he says. Rest here. Then we then meet us down the hall to make plans. He rushes out to tell the others. Okay, so we encamp and save. And actually move on. Oh, maybe with magic. Uh, can you memorize something? No, you can't. I'm waiting for them to get their bonus spells, but the moons are not full. Okay, moving on. The cell block extends to either side. A group of human slaves are huddled in a room to the east. Then let's go to the east. You approach the slaves. They greet you eagerly and tell you of their plan. This is recorded as journal entry 15. Slaves of the Kuotor. Uh, the slaves welcome you into their group. You have been captured by an aquatic race known as the Kuotor. The Kuotor hate all landfaring creatures, which they use as slaves and sacrifice to their gods. We must escape and destroy this vessel. The Kuotor fear fire above all else. The only flames to be found aboard the ship are in the temple, where they light holy torches to represent their trust in their gods. You are the strongest among us. Make your way to the temple and set fire to the boat with the torches. The Kuotar will panic and we can all escape. Whatever you do, don't get in any fights before you reach the torches. We don't want them on guard. Don't start a fire anywhere but the temple. They will cut off most of the guards from the bow of the... Kuatoa guards enter the room. To the galley slaves, a guard swivels his bulbous eye towards you. Straight down the north hall. Hurry up, the guards leave. Okay. Okay, can we get a take a look at the area? Yeah, we can. Okay, to the north, he said. Uh, that would be this way, this direction. So, what's in here? Kuotor are seated around the table. Their eyes swivel towards you without concern. Get back to the galley, one orders. You are not allowed in here. Out! We fight them. Have it your way then. The Kuotor attacks. Alrighty. What do we have? A few monitors with 56 hit points and Kuotors with 90 hit points but a high armor class. I don't really care that much. Uh, can you yell? Yeah, apparently you can. Try and hit them. Oh. Wow, he has a <laughs> oh, he's down to eight. Oh, Sylvia. Now you're dead. Uh, 
And he is down to 24 hit points. Oh, one point of damage, oh well. At least we use a few darts. Night. I guess you're next. Got one. That should be the end of you. Thank you. Huh. Easy. And you're dead. Hmm, 3096 experience points. Not bad. You drag the bodies out of sight and carefully erase all the signs of battle. No alarm has been raised. Yay, we're in camp and fix. Oh. Guards, Jeppy, you awake. No sleeping slaves. Really? Okay, we can't rest in here. Moving on. Another group of Kuota ambush you as you walk somewhere. What do we have? Uh, Kuotas and a few monitors. That's nothing. That's not too fancy. You yell. That's good, because I wanted him to actually have space, so he doesn't walk around and attacks Genevieve Jolie. Very nice. Who's next? You are.
the end of you. Oh, I had one hit point. night and well we attack you now missed Night. You're dead, and we slay you now too. Good night. 2,877 experience points. With the guards out of the way, you searched the room to see what they were so f fervently defending. Before long, you uncover their booty. Uh, 1,514 experience points and treasure. What do we get? Um, a chainmail, arrows, and a longbow, and some money. Three jewelries. Nice. You drag the bodies out of sight and carefully raise all signs of battle. No alarm has been raised. Nice. I wish we could rest. But we can't. So, well. That will not stop us. Let's take a look at the area. At least that works. Um, yeah. Moving on. The galley is filled with working slaves, guarded by a Kuotoa monitor. Buckets of slimy algae soup are being prepared and carried into the dining room. One of the slaves sidles over and whispers quickly, Meet me in the pantry straight ahead. We can talk there. Okay, let's go there. Large jars of algae fill the pantry. and The slave awaits you here. Don't, don't let them make you mad in the dining room. If they find out you have weapons, the game is up. For whom? Can we fix? Nope. No sleeping, slaves. Oh, wait a second. I think I know where I can sleep. Da 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 Uh, no. What, where am I? Oh, here. Get in here. This is a tiny slave cell. We encamp and fix. This is where we can sleep. Very nice. The galley is filled with working slaves. Yep. I know. So, you hear water sloshing in the bilge. Um, we encamp and save. And move on. Let's take a look at the area. Uh, no, that's the wrong button area. Yeah, okay. This is the ship's dining area. Kuatar slurped green sloop from long throng throcks in the center of each table. As you enter, Kuatar begin to hurl abuse at you. Dogs below in the galley. One jeers. We ignore him. Another Kuatar shouts, Take a bath, ape man. You're spoiling my appetite. We ignore him too. 
have a taste of this. One offers and throws us uh, throws green soup over the party. The courtois in the room laugh uproariously. We ignore him. The courtois are bored by your unwillingness to fight. They turn back to their meals, ignoring you. The courtois in this hall ignore you, assuming that you are here on cleanup duty. Let's take a look at the area. What's in here? This is an officer's bunk for a quarter monitor. It is empty. Okay. The deck tips a bit. So uh, those are the guards' bunks. Let's go down here. Am I still on track? Yeah, pretty much looks like it. You enter the temple. A slave is fastened to the limbs of an oddly shaped altar. Uh, the chanting grows louder as the moment of sacrifice nears. Will you rescue the slave? Sure thing. You draw your weapons and charge into the room. The courtois are surprised. What do we have? Oh, there's a cleric. There are several clerics. Get away. Ah, my antivirus program. Mucking things up. So I don't like those clerics. They will eat fire. I mean, you get hit by one of our fighters. And you too. But uh, you, you will need fire. Okay. Um, can you hit a cleric? No, you can't. One second thought you can. Yeah, like I care. Cast... Delayed Blast Fireball. Because why not? So we have... One, one, two, three, boom. They're not dead yet. Okay, he's not casting either. And another one of those. One, two, three, four. Boom. Good night. Okay. I think we've got the situation under control. Apparently you can only attack from behind if you attack them like this, or like this, but if you attack them like this, that doesn't count as attacking from behind. Weird. Good night. Victory! 2772. Several holy torches were knocked from the walls during the battle. 
and the ship is now ablaze. You untie the sacrifice and he runs eastward to join the fight between the slaves and the panic Kurtoa. Awesome. Let's uh, search our way around here a bit. That apparently is the altar, but we can't do nothing with it. Fine. Disable the search then. And we probably leave through that door. Very well. Human slaves are finishing off a small group of Kuatoa guards. Burn the boat, they cry, then rush off to help their comrades. That's what you should do. The deck of the ship is bathed in flames. You hear angry cries from the Kuatoa trapped inside, unable to reach the water. Well, if it's the ship, you only have to wait till it sinks. Ho, ho, ho. Just kidding. A group of Kuata are rummaging through this room, heedless of the battle, and I didn't get to read it. So, what do we have? No clerics, apparently. Ha ha ha! Nice! You yell. You're being stupid. Now oh, there should be an opening for you. Oh, he has one more hit point. Not anymore. Hmm, doesn't really work, I think. See, that doesn't count as attacking from behind. Hmm, weird. And we're finished. Search the room, yes. You can't locate whatever it was they were looking for. Apparently, they were looking for something. Mm hmm. Let's take a look at the area. Okay. This is the captain's chamber. The large window has been smashed, probably as an escape hatch. The flames are growing stronger and the heat is oppressively oppressive. Search the room? Yes. You fail to locate anything of interest. We look. Uh, uh, this tiny closet is filled with smoke. 
flames dance within inches of your body. Search the closet. Yes. You're scorched by the flames. Ow. As you jerk away, your foot kicks aside some clutter, revealing what the Kuatra had been searching for. 942 experience points. No, treasure actually. What do we get? A mace. Mace to the face. And 20 gems. Get the hell out of Dodge. You smell turpentine in the air. That means we want to get out of here. You confront a group of Kuatar fleeing the fire. They seem more interested in escape than battle. What do you do? We attack them. Never let them go. Do you have any clerics here? Apparently not. Nice. How? They all gang up on Kobe Tai. Oh, not on Kobe Tai, on Sylvia Saint, I meant. But she has a very good armor class. With her plus four shield. You. And they're dead. Uh, no, thanks, wrong button. Aim. Next target. And another one bites the dust. Uh, no treasure though. So let's go in here. Kuatar are blocking the way to the bow of the ship. They sh 
stare in fear at oily flames licking on the surface of the water. What do you do? We attack them. <coughs> what else? They join combat eagerly. Okay. What do we have? Oh, there's a cleric. Here's another cleric and another cleric here. And a few more clerics here, okay. So this is, happens to be a cleric. That means you attack him. Good. Are you surrounded by clerics? Not really. You surrounded by clerics? Yep. Okay, um, we need to do something. Cast the delayed blast fireball. Let's see. Um, we need to stop him from casting. You yell. You also cast the delay blast fireball. There's a cleric here. Okay. So we have a cleric here and a cleric here. No clerics here though. You know what? of that cleric. What else do we have? Apparently no more clerics. That's good. And you're dead. I don't think we need you anymore.
and dead. Thank you, 3,482 experience points. The way is now clear to reach the safety of the ship's bow. That's nice, so we move on. Many slaves rush up as you reach the row. No, the bow. Jump and swim to shore, the leader suggests. The Kuator are too panicked to attack you. We'll jump in right behind you and help hold them off. Uh, some people actually are wearing heavy plate armor. We are all in your debt. We won't forget your bravery. <coughs> and the party gains more experience. You leap from the bow of the ship and swim to shore and the plate doesn't weigh anything. Or really good swimmers. As the ship burns down to the waterline, you see slaves jumping off the stern of the ship. You help them to shore and they thank you profusely. And we gain more experience. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we will end this video here and continue the next one. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.